This story happened when I was 10 years old. My dad's colleague died in a car accident. No! Don't go over there! Mom, come on! Wow! Look at all these people! That day, my mother and I went to the morgue. And the last thing I remember before he died was that he came to our store to buy a pack of cigarettes. Hello? Is anyone there? Can I get a pack of cigarettes? Mom! Someone wants cigarettes! I'm coming! <coughs> Just put it on my tab. On your tab again? After leaving the shop, <laughs> he got into an accident. He was hit by a drunk truck driver, and his body flew 20 meters through the air, and he died on the spot. Today's horror manga dub and narration is Hungry Person. If you're enjoying this story, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right back into this chilling tale. His body was carried to the morgue. I still can't forget it. Seeing his wife and child grieving uncontrollably. Hey, get back here! Then, in that moment, seeing his lifeless body just laying there. That was the first time I saw a dead man. That image haunted my young mind for years. It served as a source of trauma in my childhood. So cold. Since that day, I had been sickly. My body had been as cold as snow. I even went to the hospital and got medicine through intravenous. But even that did not help. Hello, is anyone there? Can I get a bottle of vinegar? Oh, sure, I'm coming, one moment. My dear, why aren't you out playing cards today with the rest of them? W well, my son, he's fallen ill. Has your husband fallen ill too? No, he hasn't. Why don't you let me go and check on the boy? Hmm. He's fast asleep. Huh? Something is unclean! Unclean! Unclean things? Where? There is something not of this world. Right in this room. Oh, the poor child. He's so cold. Someone brought something sinister into this household. This is why the boy cannot keep heat in his body. This force has its grasp on the boy. Have you by chance visited a cemetery recently? Cemetery? No, I haven't been to one. <gasps> we... We went to the morgue the other day. Look! Right there! There's dirty stuff there. But there's nothing there. I don't see anything. Why are you here? What do you want? Is this enough? I'll give it to you. What is it? But don't come again. Hurry to the kitchen. Get me a pair of chopsticks and a bowl of rice. Oh, okay. Bless us, Buddha. Bless us, Buddha. Please save this family from any harm. 
This boy is a very good kid. Please don't hurt him. Bless us, Buddha. Bless us, Buddha. What is it that you desire? We will be giving it to you right away. Then you shall be able to go to the afterlife in peace. Here is the rice and chopsticks that you asked for. Thank you. Here it is that which you asked for. I will feed you right away. Uh, what? Who is it that you are going to feed? Buddha. Bless us. Buddha, bless us. Please, Buddha. Bless us. Now eat, unrestful spirit. And when your unrelenting hunger is satiated, leave this place at once. Eat more. Eat more and hurry to the afterlife where whist you belong. At once. I was weak during the incident due to the illness, but I could still feel the rice falling atop of my face and throughout my bedding. Although difficult, I opened my eyes and that was when I saw it. A black figure crouching atop of my bed. It was using its long and decrepit arms to feast upon something. Then. I passed out from the shock. The entity plaguing your boy is now gone. <sighs> we have satiated its unwavering hunger. Now, remember, in the future, never take your child to visit places where there are dead people. Children are young, and spirits like to attach to them because of their innocence. Yes, thank you so much for saving my boy. After a while, my illness disappeared and my body fully recovered. I never forgot that incident, and the memory still feels fresh, as if it had happened just yesterday. Although, as I continued to grow up, the lady who saved me that fateful day, she hardly ever seemed to go out anymore and I barely saw her. She was a lonely and mysterious person, but I have always believed that she could see things that others could not. Hi everyone, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this little tale, because it took a little bit of time to make. I had to translate the whole story from Chinese to English, since no official or fan translation seems to exist. If you enjoy this sort of content, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? I narrate all kinds of other horror manga, manhwa, comics, and so much more. Or, if you'd really like to support me, why don't you consider joining the rest of my wonderful Patrons on Patreon, where you'll get exclusive access to my Junji Ito horror manga dubs and narrations, the ones that I had previously narrated on my old channel, before it was unfairly terminated. Now, I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to James Abel, Banger Prophecy, Moto Surf, and Dennis Cork. I appreciate you all so much for your kind donation and for supporting the channel, but I'd like to take this time to thank each and every one of you that always take the time to comment on the video, like the video, and most importantly, watch the video. A storyteller is nothing without someone who is willing to listen, so I appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoy this format, don't forget to let me know in the comments below or suggest other stories that you'd like to hear. Thank you very much for listening, and remember, you are important 
and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.